welcome back to another video now before i get into the video let me just show you my bamboo fence i, I believe you can see it so let me just uh turn it over here so you can see it so that's it this is how it turned out to look um so you have one side here and then you also have this side so i'm left with some few bamboos to complete this section and then i'll fix uh, a gate which i'll use the bamboos to um, design as well so yeah that's 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 how it turned out so uh, today's video is about a sebu so from my previous video i showed up uh, my project we haven't done at um, a sebu so i'm sure a lot of people have questions about a sebu where is a sebu how do you get to know of a sebu what is a sebu pan-african village and so on so i want to answer some of these uh, questions so first of all a sebu is a town located in the central region of ghana it's about 20 minutes drive from Cape Coast. If you're heading back to Accra from Cape Coast, it's uh, um, at this junction or there's a town known as Yamransa. So from there, it's about 10 minutes to Asebu. Yes, yeah, so um, Asebu Pan African Village. So, how did I even get to here of Asebu? So, um, in 2021, out of one of the videos I made about the Hanging Village, um, I had a comment uh, with an interest in visiting Ghana somewhere in 2021. And um, I uh, was, you know, um, hoping that I'll be, you know, able to, you know, share around. So, in 2021, um, she made it um, to Ghana with her, her son. It was the first time here, so uh, I, I try to possible best to show her around a couple of places. Um, them, a couple of places in Ghana. And then through one of our trips, we were having a conversation. And then she made mention of Asebu, and then Asebu Pan African Village. So um, she was, you know, talking about, you know, you know, offering of free land at Asebu, that is the Pan African Village. So I had to go do research about it. So I, you know, went to read a bit about it. You know, watch a couple of videos online. So yeah. Now, what is the Pan African Village? So in 2019, um, during the year of return, that, that's when our president declared. It has a year of return, you know, inviting people living in the diaspora to come, you know, to Ghana, visit Ghana, invest in Ghana and so on. Um, the Asebu Traditional Council, or yes, that is a um, traditional leaders of Asebu, uh, thought it was, you know, also a great, you know, idea to offer free lands to people who are willing to relocate here in Ghana so that it's, you know, easier for them, you know, to be able to fit in. So the who are Cebu Pan African Village um, has a couple of initiatives where there's um, you know teaching people the language, the local languages, um, helping them you know learn some of our traditions, customs, and the rest. You know, it's it's a whole lot of programs that they are offering, and as part of that, is the um, free land offering of free land here in Ghana, so that if you you know you live in a diaspora, you want to relocate to Ghana, it's easier for you to you know just get a free land over there. And then here yeah, you go about you know your building project or whatever you want to put up. So this is some of the things I discovered about it based on the you know little research I made about the Asebu Pan African village, which I think it's a really great idea. So um her auntie was interested in getting land, so we had to you know um take a trip over there. That was my first time I went there, and then I uh, made a payment on behalf of her. So um as part of the things that I, I learned, which is you know, offering of freelance, there's a little cost which is associated to that, where that cost is for administrative purposes. So, registration of the land that is, uh, you know, having your documentation and then the site plan, the permit, and all those things, you know, that's the administrative fee you have to pay for the land. The land itself, it's free, it's about I think 5,000 acres of land where they have the first, uh, the phase A. The first phase, which I think is the lands are existed, and then they're currently on, currently on their second phase. So, made payment for on behalf of her auntie, and then we went to see a uh, place that she's going to be, you know, uh, she's like she was allocated, and it was, you know, great and the rest. And then also in 2022, I had another person who was also interested in visiting Ghana for the very first time. She got in touch, and then, um, you know, all through my YouTube videos, and then. Um, we exchanged contact, so she came, she made it to Ghana with her cousin of hers, and then I was able to take them around. I made sure they, they had a great time here in Ghana, and I told her about um, Asebu and the Pan African village. So she was interested. We took a visit there, and then you know she also got um, 
one of the free lands just paying for the administrative fees only so currently it's a building project that we are working on at um, Asebu so I'm sure just this brief information has helped with what Asebu is where it's located and what's the Af Asebu Pan-African village uh, so interestingly I didn't know about it until you know my friend came in um, 2019 sorry 2021 um, we had a conversation about it and I got to know about it so yeah it's interesting sometimes we are here and we don't even seem to know about some of the things that are going on yeah because and this all these have been possible because of you know youtube videos you know people are now getting informed about what is really happening on the motherland yeah so not all the lies that you know people are told out there about africa and so on and i'm glad you know people like myself are helping you know change the narrative with uh um, videos are little little videos that we make about you know places about things or experiences and the rest and I'm glad it's helping and people are you know you know relocating or moving to Africa you know investing in Africa and so on so um, I think that will be just about it for this video so I'm out uh, I'm taking a stroll I have been working indoors since you know morning the whole day currently the sun is about setting so you can see it behind me yeah so that's how it looks like if it's about sit uh and let me just yeah so that's it let's see if uh which way i wanted to show you the hills which is behind over there which you know anytime the sun is about to set it you know, settles behind it and it looks really amazing so it's currently around four something getting to five and yeah that's it over there yeah and if you want to have a you know full glimpse of my bamboo fence this is it i'll be making a video about it the process and everything so do watch out for it so that's it all the way from here and then you have a gate and then that section unfortunately i'm left with a few more bamboo to complete that part i haven't really been available for some time now so i'll get it done uh, and then i'll also work on the the gate and then i share with you and then i'll share with you the process involved it's really you know windy outside yeah i'll share with you the process involved in making this uh, bamboo fence so that would be just about it for this video in case there's anything i didn't touch on or speak about concerning Asebu and the rest maybe you can you know ask you know questions in the comments and also i'll put a uh, link to the Asebu Man website which talks about the whole Asebu Pan African village. Um, so, the website, the link to the website will be in the description of this video. So, you're able to check it out and then learn a thing or two from it. So, that'll be just about it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.